Hey, what's up everybody? This is Daniel Landsman and this is day 32 of 50 Days of Data. As promised, today we're going to be talking about audio data. The reason that this is really interesting is because with the emergence of Google Home and Amazon Echo, there's going to be a very large increase, an exponential increase of voice data. And you know, Amazon is probably one of the best companies at leveraging data, which is, you know, why when you go to your home screen, you basically see different stuff depending upon your purchase history and your purchase habits. So imagine now, instead of them using all of your purchase data from what you've clicked on or what you've looked at, they're going to be using voice data to better target products to you or give you suggestions as to what they think that you might like. Uh, this can be very beneficial, uh, but it also you know, leads to situations where there are, are not necessarily uh, products purchased that you would like, uh, due to the inherent biases of you know these companies, so Scott Galloway from L2, uh, he's a professor at NYU Marketing, super smart guy. Definitely follow him. Really like him a lot and value his opinion. Uh, basically, you know, had a, a segment on his show, and it it was showing how uh, people are going to be moving towards pricing as opposed to branding. Uh, so basically like he who has the cheapest deodorant wins because at the end of the day, as cool as the Old Spice commercials are or, you know, right guard commercials are, realistically, uh, you know, we are price sensitive and we are not necessarily brand loyal. I know personally, uh, when I find stuff that I like, you know, I'll just keep buying it. But, you know, if I find something better, it, like, doesn't really matter to me. I think that, you know, branding, while important to make it so that your company is out there with voice, you don't necessarily see the product. So I think there's going to need to be some new strategies that come out around how to best leverage voice or audio, uh, you know, there's definitely stuff that you could do out there, like, you know, run ads across Spotify. Um, and there's, you know, multiple places uh, that you can get in touch with your specific audience, whether it be podcasts or, you know, terrestrial radio, but they're going to be able to chop up what you're saying into little pieces, analyze it and target against it. Uh, I don't really know how good the computers are yet at analyzing inflection. Uh, that said, you know, 93% of your communication is not from the actual content. It's from your voice inflection and also from, you know, your body language. Well, you can't really see body language when you're talking into a little speaker, but, you know, maybe there is something that is being developed currently in order to more accurately map your sentiments or emotional states in order to best tailor the communication for the way that you're feeling right now. So there's there's definitely a lot that can be done here. Uh, you know, there's there's other things like meta communication, you know, it could be even taken so far as ingesting your personal diction and, you know, giving you an intelligence score and saying like, hey, this person is really smart, therefore we should use more complicated words or hey, this person is not very smart, so we should use less complicated words. Uh, you know, there could definitely be something like that I foresee in the future. I don't know if that actually exists today, but I'm just purporting that it could happen. Uh, you know, I, I 
really think that this is still a super new medium. Uh, you know, people who are super interested in it are, are guys like Gary Vaynerchuk, really, really interesting uh, because VaynerMedia was just announced to uh, have won the, the voice contract. I can't remember from who, but, you know, he's really, really thinking about it. So, you know, if uh, you're not, you definitely should be. So if you like what I'm saying, you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel, like my stuff, share my stuff, and get in touch if you want to chat about data. I would love to hear from you. So thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.